I'm, my name is Tobin Clark. I'm a civil technical specialist with ATG USA. I'm recording this video to talk about uh, hyperlinks and using those within uh, Civil 3D and AutoCAD. So um, on my screen here, there's like a um, there's this block that has some so it's like a dynamic block. But what's important about it is that there are these hyperlinks in there. You can control and click on any of these things and navigate to a detail. So yeah, I'm looking at plan view and you can just kind of hyperlink from plan view to your detail sheets. And then um, this is set up by doing the, um, by, by, by saving views. So on um, this sheet here, I have a view named the uh, cross drain detail. And so when I click that uh, hyperlink button, it navigates me to that cross drain view cross train detail view um, so uh, I have these these two deep different drawing files linked together using sheet set manager so I uh, um, well this is this is this view is saved in a sheet so it's it's in the sheet views tab I'm sorry uh, so here it is this is the sheet view um, we would just say we had another detail over here um, I would click new view Maybe this is a manhole detail. Um, define window. Maybe it's from here to here. Okay. And um, I'm going to not save a layer snapshot. There's a view categories. You can set up categories. Um, then if I save this file, I'll have the new manhole detail view. I can then go back to another file in the drawing set and um, uh, go to right go to the sheet set manager, go to the sheet views tab, find manhole details, right click and choose place call out block. You can uh, do that. So it's something it's right this this is uh, dashed out. So you just like how you can name sheet numbers, you can name sheet views. So what I have to do is I have to right click on this sheet uh, view and then name it um, C-002 or 02. Um, oh, I'm sticking to that naming convention. All right, so then I would just regen and my fields update and just like that you can point to things and then my hyperlink would take me between drawings to my imaginary detail I would have. So that's one thing you can you can do uh, that's kind of a, a complicated example to start with but just to show you the exciting parts about you know why you probably want to use hyperlinks uh, you can also use hyperlinks uh, just on regular text so on the insert tab of the um, of the AutoCAD ribbon in the data panel there's this hyperlink button you can hold control and select any old sorry you can have you can navigate to hyperlinks that that have been assigned to any object so this is how you would assign a, a hyperlink to a, a line a temp text a, um, a title block I don't know this is this so this is a some M text that has a, a a link hyperlink attached to it so if I hold control and I click that button I'm gonna you know open up a file here and this is a 3d view of this detail so I can kind of you can see how having an, having access to this 3D view would be good, or had just having access to any, to like being able to link externally to like government resources would be really useful to somebody. So, like maybe at the bottom of your general notes or your you know your cro cross train matter intersection detail, you might say um, you know refer to so and so sheet or and or refer to so and so. Um, government resource to on the, at this web page here and then you could provide a link and then somebody could navigate to it but um, you know that's an example just some M text you can write paragraphs before this you can you can also add hyperlinks to um, to title blocks so um, in this title block there are several attributes and this is, by the way, the same thing, the same way that the, uh, the this block was was organized. So, this is um, 
this is a title block. I mean, this is an attribute that has the field targeting the sheet view, and then uh, it's pulling in the sheet, the view number, and then also the the sheet number. So um, that's how it's organized. Okay, this is the sheet we were on. I'm sorry. Um, here on this sheet, you can click. Uh, you can you can double click in the title block you can find this this link field so this field is within the field category called linked and it's uh it's just a link that's going to be stored within this one attribute so um it's pulling in uh it has a hyperlink here to a web page that would give you directions so you know somebody has the address there and then you can click the link to actually navigate to the address um so here on the cover sheet, we often use this sheet set manager uh, insert sheet list button. And um, you can actually, not everybody knows this, but you can actually navigate to the different sheets by holding control and uh, clicking in any, uh, in any one of those named sheets. So you navigate to different view, different layout tabs. So that's neat. Um, not everybody knows though that these different um, so this is an old printout um, these different layout tabs uh, uh, actually get uh, published to um, to the PDF so in a couple minutes here we'll we'll meet back up after this is done printing and we'll uh, talk about what happens with uh, the PDFs that are generated from this and how this looks on the um, on the receiving end. So, see you in a second. Hey, so we just uh, printed out our PDF here. We have hyperlinks from AutoCAD, right? So we generated these nice hyperlinks that let you navigate between the sets. So if you control click on that uh, sheet on that um, first sheet of your um, your or your cover sheet, you can um, navigate around just by clicking on the, the sheet itself. So that's nice. Uh, something else you can do is um, use some of our other links. So remember, we generated this link here. There was a link to a, the 3D PDF. So you can click on that and then say, "Oh, wow, that's a nice PDF." Um, and you can do the same thing over here. You click on that link there. You can open up a Google Maps and get directions. Uh, if you were on a phone viewing this PDF, you'd, you'd, you'd be on Google Maps, like on your app. So that's nice. Um, what else you can do is, uh, and one of the things we, we, I'm constantly doing as I'm, not, as I'm talking is I'm trying to generate, uh, to, like, like trying to get back to the cover sheet. It's a lot of work to scroll around back to the cover sheet. So what I want to do is I want to put a link down here where the sheet number is to uh, get me back to that home page. So I'm going to click uh, hyperlink, select this area here. I'm going to choose take me to page one of this PDF. And I'll click OK. So now I have one hyperlink. That's kind of the basic idea of what a hyperlink is in Bluebeam. Uh, what we can do is we can hold shift, select the hyperlink, and uh, right click. So uh, you can right click on it and click apply to pages, and then we can apply it to all the pages. So then there'll be that link there at the bottom of all the pages that will let me uh, navigate back to the home page. So here's an example of a workflow. Maybe I'm, I'm an engineer marking up this, this set and I'm adding some, adding like a cloud markup to something. Maybe, I don't know what this is. So I'm telling the drafter, what is this? Okay. Um, so, you know, I'm done with that markup. I want to go back and navigate back to another sheet. So you can really easily, without having to damage your middle finger scrolling up and down this long list of sheets, you can navigate between your drawing set really easily just by utilizing these links. And you never have to have that open again. You can kind of also zoom in a little bit closer and, and utilize more of that screen real estate. Um, so, 
you know, this is all, all really sweet. Um, we added one link and then we added it to a bunch of pages. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to use tools, no, batch, and I want to use OCR. So this is going to take a second, but it's going to um, take all my text and make it so it's legible to uh, Bluebeam. So first, that's what I'll do. Um, this is going to take a second, so I'll see you when this loading bar is done. OK, it looks like that's done now. So um, you know you can test it by going back to this first page and changing your cool tool to the selection tool. And if you can select text like this, it means that OCR worked. So now what we can do, since, auto, since Bluebeam recognizes all my text as text, is use the batch tool, choose link and new. You can click add open files, click next. Um, and then we're going to change this to page label. Um, let's see. Um, actually, so I need to update my, my sheet numbers. So I'm going to, it looks like OCR rotated some of my pages. So I'm going to rotate those back. Um, one second. You can control, select both, rotate counterclockwise. Okay. So that seems to have fixed those pages. Um, so we'll run the batch tool. Uh, so we'll come to the batch tab, come to link, click new, click add open files, click next, and then we'll choose um, page label. So yeah, we'll pick pick up where we left off. We'll choose settings, choose no fil choose the filter settings, and we'll choose fil first from start. And then we'll set it to space. So th basically what this is saying is take everything in the page labels, but whatever comes after that, um, wh whatever comes after the first space, we don't want it. So basically we just want the page number. So we'll click OK. We'll click Generate. Um, so what this is saying is anytime we have a sheet that is looking at... Uh, we're going to get rid of these from the list because they don't look like they're work, they, they will work correctly. Um, whenever we have a sheet that's looking at, uh, that says C002, link it to page two of the set. So we'll click run, and you'll see it created 10 hyperlinks. So um, you can see some of the hyperlinks here. Um, and so you, just to show you that you can still you'll, you can still have some of these Bluebeam uh, hyperlinks generated even if you aren't using Sheet Set Manager. So uh, if you if for some reason you typed up this sheet list the sheet index and you manually did these sheet bubbles without you going through the Sheet Set Manager, you can still use Bluebeam to generate these links between your your pages. So. Um, I think the the, ben, the real bit of benefit here is if you want to link to external documents, then you're going to want to use those hyperlinks that I was showing you earlier, where you can uh, hyperlink outside the, the set to uh, maps and stuff. So, all right, well, uh, that's all I had for you today. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel. 